Reef Bum is sponsored by Bulk Reef Supply and Ecotech Marine. Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. There is a well-known saying out there that says good things come to those who wait. This saying is certainly relevant to keeping an SPS reef tank since patience is a critical component to having success. Years ago, folks, including myself, started reef tanks with either maricultured or wild colonies. In essence, you could create a nearly instant reef. Today, the most common way to start a reef is to plant frags. Frags can evolve and grow more organically with the reef, providing a more natural look versus starting a tank with colonies. A new tank with just frags does look a bit barren and can test a reef keeper's patience. One way to move things along is to add some fast growing corals. With that said, here is my list of the top five fastest growing SPS corals. Number one, the Green Valley Slammer. Yes, the Acropora Youngi or Green Valley Slammer is a beautiful staghorn. This coral, which has been around the hobby for a long time, is vivid green and has wide spidering branches. As the name suggests, they do slime when touched or disturbed, so it is wise to minimize contact. This coral is very hardy and does not need a ton of light. Why is this coral number one on my list? Well, I had one in my old 225 gallon tank and in no time, it took over the whole left corner of the tank. It grew so fast, the tip seemed to be growing out of the water. Number two on my list are Mataporas. Any branching Monty is a good bet to quickly fill up space in a tank. I have the ATL Forest Fire Digi and the Tub Stellata Monty and both grow very fast. Another benefit with these corals is their ability to withstand less than ideal water parameters, making them great additions to a new tank. Montes also do not require a lot of light and a ton of flow. Cupping or encrusting Montes, such as an orange cap or sunset Monty, are fast growers as well. Number three. Bird's nest corals. Bird's nests come in a variety of colors, including neon green and pink. Once they get going, they can grow like weeds. There are two types of pink bird's nests, with one sporting sharp tips and the other rounded tips. I have found the sharp tip variety to grow at a faster clip. If you like bright, solid colors, then give this coral a try. Number four, the Milka Stylo. Many stylophores grow quickly, and the Milka Stylo is one of them. According to Jake Adams at Reef Builders, this coral was first kept in captivity at the Monaco Aquarium in France. It has gorgeous deep purple coloration, a true stunner that can be a centerpiece of any aquarium. It too is hardy and can adapt to a variety of conditions. Number five, Pacillopora. This beginner coral grows aggressively and is typically either pink or green. Pacillopora can actually reproduce and spread in a tank. This happens when its polyps separate from its base skeleton and reattach elsewhere in the reef, forming new colonies. Be cautious when adding this coral since it can take over a tank. Okay, this is supposed to be a top five list, but I'm including one more as an honorable mention. Number six is the Cali Tour. Why? Well, it made my list since I have one that is 18 inches wide. The Cali Tort is an Acropora tortiosa and has blue coralites and branches with hints of green. Under certain lighting conditions, the green will not be visible, causing some to misclassify it as an Oregon blue tort. In terms of placement, I recommend keeping this coral high in the tank under medium to bright lighting. It should also receive a moderate to high amount of flow. Well, that will do it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. I also want to remind you about my premium SPS frag store on reefbum.com. I will leave a link in the video description below. I will also leave links from my equipment store. I do sell GHL, Royal Exclusive, Pax Bellum, and Reef Bright equipment, plus ice cap and max spec gyras, as well as Reef Octopus calcium and calc reactors. Many of these products I do use personally on my tanks. Until next time, be safe and be well. Later.